वेलकम टू पी आई बी न्यूज पॉडकास्ट फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज एनरोलमेंट्स अंडर प्रधानमंत्री मातृ वंदना योजना द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ विमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड प्रधानमंत्री मातृ वंदना योजना विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी 2017 थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग पार्शल कॉम्पेंसेशन फॉर द वेज लॉस इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैश इंसेंटिव सो दैट द वुमेन कैन टेक एडिक्वेट रेस्ट बिफोर एंड आफ्टर डिलीवरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड and to improve health seeking behavior amongst the pregnant women and lactating mothers pradhan mantri matri vandana yojana provides cash incentive of 5000 rupees directly to the bank or post office account of pregnant women and lactating mothers the eligible beneficiaries receive the remaining cash incentive as per approved norms towards maternity benefit under janani suraksha yojana after institutional delivery so that on an average a woman gets 6000 rupees the pradhan mantri matri vandana yojana is a component under the sub scheme samarthya of the newly launched mission shakti an umbrella scheme for safety security and empowerment of women the revamped pradhan mantri matri vandana yojana under mission shakti now also aims to promote positive behavioral change towards girl child by providing additional cash incentive for the second child if that is a girl child The following changes in the salient features of Pradhan Mantri Matri Vandana Yojana have been introduced with effect from 1st April 2022 with the launch of new Mission Shakti. The scheme is to provide maternity benefits to women belonging to socially and economically disadvantaged sections of society. The maternity benefit is to be provided to a woman for the first to living children provided the second child is a girl. For the first child the maternity benefit of 5000 rupees is provided into installments under Pradhan Mantri Matri Vandana Yojana and the beneficiary is also entitled to receive the cash incentive as per approved norms towards maternity benefit under Janani Suraksha Yojana JSY after institutional delivery so that on an average a woman gets 6000 rupees for the second child The benefit of 6000 rupees is to be provided subject to second child is a girl child in one installment after the birth. The beneficiary's husband's aadhar is not mandatory for availing the benefits under the scheme. Cases of miscarriage or stillbirths are to be treated as fresh cases for providing maternity benefit under the scheme. Since inception of the scheme More than 2.89 crore pregnant women and lactating mothers have been enrolled and 11217.39 crore rupees has been disbursed as on 15th July 2022 The funds under Pradhan Mantri Matri Vandana Yojana are released to states and union territories on the basis of indicative targets and utilization of released funds Thus state and union territory wise and city wise allocations are not made under pradhan mantri matri vandana yojana salient features of the pradhan mantri matri vandana yojana the maternity benefit is available to a woman for the first living child of family subject to fulfillment of conditionalities all the pregnant women and lactating mothers in regular employment with central government or state governments or public sector undertakings or those who are in receipt of similar benefits under any law for the time being in force are excluded mother and child protection card is the verification tool for verification of fulfillment of conditionalities Early registration of pregnancy has been considered as registration of pregnancy within 150 days from the date of her last menstrual period and duly recorded on mother and child protection card. All pregnant women who have registered their pregnancy for the first child in family on or after 1st January 2017 are eligible for getting benefit under the program. The funds to the beneficiaries under Pradhan Mantri Matri Vandana Yojana will be transferred directly to their bank or post office account in direct benefit transfer mode. If a beneficiary delivers twins or triplet or quadruplet, it will be counted as first living child in the family. An eligible beneficiary can apply at any point of time but not later than 730 days of pregnancy. The grants in aid are transferred in escrow bank account as well as state or union territory treasury for different components of the scheme. For the maternity benefit component, conditional cash transfer of Rs 5000 rupees 
is transferred to the escrow bank account of the states and union territories and remaining components is through states and union territories treasury account. At the center, the scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Women and Child Development. The states and union territories have option to implement the scheme either through Women and Child Development Department or Social Welfare Department or through Health and Family Welfare Department. Thanks for listening. Kindly like, subscribe and share.